hello good morning everyone uh, welcome to the next session of uh, finite element techniques and today we are going to solve problems on uh, plane stress and plane strain okay so the first formula is stiffness matrix formula so stiffness matrix k can be found out by using the formula delta a into b transpose d b okay so where delta is called thickness which will be given in the equation a is area so which can be found out by the formula 1 1 1 x 1 y 1 x 2 y 2 x 3 y 3 so this is area area of triangle because usually in plane stress and plane strain problems we are we have triangular type of elements next is uh, b which is called as strain displacement matrix so strain displacement matrix b is 1 by 2 a b1 0 b2 0 b3 0 0 c1 0 c2 0 c3 c1 b1 c2 b2 c3 b3 so in this a is area which we already got by using the formula this values b1 c1 b2 uh, b2 c2 b3 c3 can be found out by using the formula so b1 b2 b3 so y minus y y minus y y minus y 1 is there so here 2 3 2 3 1 3 1 2 so this coordinates you can find uh, found out by using you can find out by using the uh, diagram which will be given in the question so once you get this b1 b2 b3 values you can substitute in this matrix next similarly you have to find out the values of c1 c2 and c3 so this can be found out by using x minus x x minus x x minus x so one here two three two three one three one two okay so after getting these values b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 you can substitute here so that you get strain displacement matrix you also got the value of area so after substituting in this matrix you will get strain displacement matrix so here in in this we have delta which is called thickness which will be given in the question area can be found out by using the formula next b is which is called as strain displacement matrix can be found out by using this so b transpose you can do it uh, transpose of a matrix that is interchanging rows and columns d is called as uh, material matrix which depends from problem to problem which i will give you know and b again we we can substitute here directly so that d is called as material matrix material matrix d so d has got two formulas one is for plane stress and one is for plane strain this is the only difference between plane strain and plane stress problems so uh, if you have if plane stress has been given in the question you can use this formula d for for plane stress And for plane strain, okay so if plane stress is given in the question you have to use this formula and if plane strain is given in the question you have to use this formula now what's the difference between plane stress and plane strain so in order to understand this what's a plane a plane is a 
two dimensional body and what's a solid solid is a three dimensional body and lines are lines and arcs are one dimensional bodies so if you have plane stress that means the stress is not considered in the third direction that means you are considering the plane only in uh, stress only in x and y direction because planes are planes have like a paper paper has got only x and y direction if this is a paper you have only x and y the z direction that that is the thickness of the paper is negligible so when we have bodies in which the thickness is negligible like sheets and all when we are performing analysis on such type of bodies we have to take plane stress condition into consideration so in this cases uh, the z directions are negligible so stresses are only considered in x and y direction so in the same way what is plane strain plane strain is analysis used for solid bodies in which you have a solid body but this z direction is very long the z direction of that body that is the thickness of this body is very long so you have x you have you have x y and z direction but in the z direction the thickness is very very long so what will happen in plane strain for example i am pulling this body and let's say this dimension is some 100 cm and if a load is acting and because of this load the z direction is expanding by a length of uh, let's say 0 0.1 cm so what is the change in this dimension what is strain strain is change in length by original length so strain in z direction is 0 0.1 by 100 so which is almost negligible so 0 0.1 into 10 power uh, minus 2 centimeters so the strain in z direction is negligible so when you have bodies in which the thickness is very long so strain in that direction because of loads will be negligible so in such type of cases you have to make use of plane strain conditions anyway in the exam it will be directly given uh, solved by using plane stress and solved by using plane strain so you have if plane stress is given you have to substitute this d in this formula and if plane strain is given you have to substitute this d in this formula so once you get this matrix k so delta is thickness which will be given area will be given b values we got from this formula and d depends on plane stress and plane strain okay so once we got stiffness matrix we can find out the force matrix so there are two types of forces which are given uh, for, first is force matrices So one is self weight force and second is pressure force. So self weight force is given by the formula delta A by 3 fx0 fx fy fx fy 0 0 and pressure force is given by delta L by 2 px py px py px py i will explain how we are going to use these formulas okay so after getting this stiffness matrix and the force matrix we are we are going to substitute in the finite element equation that is the same equation which we have been using till now that is k into u is equals to f so we got k okay we got f and after substituting in k into u is equals to f we are going to get the nodal displacements okay so we are going to solve the first problem yeah, I'll write down the question here so you'll have to remember these four formulas in order to solve problems on plane stress and plane strain
okay so this question has been given in the question formulate the finite element equation formulate the finite element equation for the element shown in the figure okay so this diagram has been given so i is 1 1 j is 6 comma 4 and k is 3 comma 5 so there are pressure forces acting here on this element so that is p1 and this value has been given in the question as 5 newton per mm square and this is an inclined force which is p2 pressure 2 which is acting on which has a value of 2 newton per mm square e value is given in the question e is 200 gpa mu is given as which is poisson's ratio is given as 0.3 and thickness is given as 5 mm okay use question use plane stress conditions is given use planes use plane stress conditions is given in the question okay so first we are going to find out the uh, we have to find the stiffness matrix and afterwards we can find the force matrix then we can substitute in the finite element equation which is k into u is equals to f in order to formulate the finite element equation so uh, let's see whether all the units are given in the same form or not okay thickness is given in terms of millimeters and pressure is given in terms of millimeters whereas e is not given in terms of millimeters it is given in terms of gpa so in order to convert gpa into millimeters we have to multiply 200 into 10 power 3 newton per mm square now everything is in terms of millimeters now i can start solving the problem okay so uh, first uh, what is my uh, stiffness matrix formula stiffness matrix formula for plane stress in plane strain problems is delta a into b transpose db so delta is given in the question which is thickness okay so this is called as delta which is given in the question thickness area we have to find out okay in order to find out area these values are given in the question this is x1 y1 x2 y2 and x3 y3 okay so what is the formula of area of uh, triangle 1 by 2 into determinant 1 1 1 x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 okay so 1 by 2 okay so we have to substitute here the coordinates which are given x1 y1 so 1 1 x2 y2 which is 6 4 and x3 y3 which is 3 5 you can find out this determinants directly in the calculator okay so now i am writing it directly so we got this value as 14 14 mm square so we got the value of area which is 14 next we have to find out b which is called as strain displacement matrix so strain displacement matrix which is denoted by b and the formula is 1 by 2a b1 0 b2 0 b3 0 
सी वन जीरो सी टू जीरो सी थ्री सी वन बी वन सी टू बी टू सी थ्री बी थ्री सो वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट दिस बी वन एंड सी वन वैल्यूज सो बी वन इज y माइनस वाई सो बी टू वाई माइनस वाई बी थ्री वाई माइनस वाई सो वन टू थ्री टू थ्री वन थ्री वन टू सो वाई टू माइनस वाई थ्री सो वाई टू इज फोर वाई थ्री इज फाइव सो फोर माइनस फाइव माइनस वन वाई थ्री माइनस वाई वन सो वाई थ्री इज फाइव वाई वन इज वन सो फाइव माइनस वन फोर वाई वन माइनस वाई टू सो वन माइनस फोर माइनस थ्री ओके सिमिलरली वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट सी वन सी टू सी थ्री वैल्यूज सो सी वन सी टू सी थ्री सो सी वन इज एक्स माइनस एक्स एक्स माइनस एक्स एक्स माइनस एक्स वन टू थ्री टू थ्री वन थ्री वन टू ओके सो एक्स थ्री माइनस एक्स टू सो एक्स थ्री इज थ्री एक्स टू इज सिक्स सो थ्री माइनस सिक्स इज माइनस थ्री ओके नेक्स्ट इज एक्स वन माइनस एक्स थ्री सो वन माइनस थ्री सो वन माइनस थ्री इज माइनस टू एंड एक्स टू माइनस एक्स वन सो दैट इज सिक्स माइनस वन सो सिक्स माइनस वन इज फाइव सो वी गॉट ऑल दिस वैल्यूज वी कैन सब्सटीट्यूट इन द मैट्रिक्स बी सो सो मैट्रिक्स बी इज नाउ वन बाई टू ए एरिया वी गॉट वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एरिया फोर्टीन इज इट फोर्टीन और सेवन लेट मी चेक इट आउट सो इट सेवन So one by two into seven. So B one zero. So B one is minus one zero. B two zero four zero. B three zero. So B three is minus three minus three zero. Similarly, zero C one. So zero C one value we got minus three. Zero C two and zero C three, so zero C three, C one B one, C two B two, C three B three. After substituting these B one B two B three values and C one C two C three values in this, we got this matrix. So this is called as material uh, strain displacement matrix. Zero uh, minus one zero four zero minus three zero zero minus three uh, two zero. Okay fine. Okay fine. Everything is fine now. so after uh, uh, substituting a we got from here and b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 from these formulas we have substituted here and we got the matrix b what else do we need we got delta delta is given in the question area we got b b transpose can be done okay d we need b is already we have uh, d we have to find out now those this d depends on this thing plane stress we have two formulas for d one is for plane stress and the second one is for plane strain so in the question plane stress has been given so i am going to use this formula for plane stress so for plane stress d is 1 by 1 minus mu square okay Is one minus mu square. Uh, just check it out. If I have missed this power two here in the formulas, if if my if I miss, just add power two. One by one minus mu square into one mu mu one zero zero one minus uh, mu by two. Okay, this is the correct formula. If in the list of formulas I gave, uh, I didn't give. If I didn't give this power two, just add power two here. So this is the exact formula. So the material matrix D for plane stress conditions is this one. So mu value has been given in the question. So mu is given as zero point three. So we can substitute that here one by zero point three square. One zero point three zero point three one zero zero one minus zero point three by two. 
0 0 okay so this is for plane strain so we can find out this in the calculator just leave it here up to here so we got d as well okay next we can substitute in this k matrix and we will get this complete if we multiply we will get the k matrix so we are going to find out the k matrix now So what is the formula of K matrix? Delta A into B transpose DB. So delta has been given in the question which is 5. So I am finding out matrix K. Delta is given as 5. Area we got as 7. B transpose. So we have B here. So what is B matrix? It has 3 rows and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 3 rows and 6 columns. So when you have transpose, you have to interchange rows and columns. So B transpose will be 1 by 14 because 2 7s are 14. 1 by 14 into just interchange the rows and columns. So if you interchange the rows and columns, this will become a 6 by 3 matrix. Okay. So minus 1, 0, 3. Transpose means the first column will become first row. Okay. So minus 1, 0, 3. Second column will become second row here. So 0, minus 3, minus 1. 0, minus 3, minus 1 will become second row. Okay, because transpose is there in the formula. Next, we have 4, 0, minus 2. Next, we have 0, minus 2, 4. Next, we have minus 3, 0 and 5 next the last column which is there here is 0 5 3 so it will become row here 0 5 3 what is matrix D this value so into 1 by 1 minus 0 0.3 square 1 